What's up guys, how are you guys doing today? My name is SwatchRW and today I'm going to do my review of Fast and Furious 8. A couple of months ago I did a video on my top 5 anticipated films and this film was in the list and I've got to say it definitely deserved in the list. It is definitely one of my films I've really enjoyed so far this year. Even though it's April I've still got, you know, like The Last Jedi, Justice League, Wonder Woman, Spider-Man, all of that good stuff to go, to come. But for now, this film is a really good polished film. It is definitely a Fast and Furious film. Lots of action, you know, lots of cars, you know, you know, fighting scenes. Just it's got the entire whole package, and um, that's what I really love about this film. And of course, with the previous, um, had the um, the late passing away of you know Paul Walker and now we moved on, we're now into a new trilogy and so I think also this isn't really a spoiler but they've definitely mentioned his character of Brian and it's nice in a way but you know they haven't killed his character off he's you know still in the existence of the Fast and Furious franchise so I feel that's really well thought there you know the late Paul Walker so and uh, the, the main villain for this is uh, Cypher, she is the woman who twi twists Dom um, Dom's mind to make him go against his family and how she pulls it off is just magnificent, you know, she's a real class villain, she's like the sort of person you don't want to mess with and she, yeah, she's just the, the actress to who plays that she really plays that character spot on so you know, well done uh, really you know put on her for that but also that's another thing you know every single actor you know played their role well you know every single one they all had a part they didn't feel that like any left out so that really felt and also I don't know for me it was I mean you with the Fast and Furious franchise you get the odd you know good humour here and there, but there was humour, but I felt maybe not so much in the previous, I felt it was, it was a definitely more serious, you know, they were really spot on the mission, because of course, they, their sole content was done, they were trying to get him back, and, I don't know, might even be me, or, I don't know, it's just sort of, not so, not much humour in there, because it was a serious damn mission. So, as I said, but there's also a lot of, you know, twists and turns within the movie. And I was definitely in the shock for some. And, but also, you know, good bunch of, you know, characters um, from the film, you know, they're all... It really is a really good polished film. I think that's all what I can say, really. Um, try not to go any more spoiler way. But uh, I really love all how they um, split the film with different locations, from you know Cuba, the beginning on Dom, Dom Lay's honeymoon, and then to New York, and then at the end Russia. That's the big submarine is seen from the trailers, and of course in New York that massive hack with all, all those cars, and I was absolutely amazed on how that was well was made that was absolutely incredible to watch that was a full-on car popper pet head moment there and another non-spoiler thing um web on the sequels of the film i felt i don't know let me know in comments below when you see the movie for yourself but i felt like a little bit of a need for, bit of a need for speed throwback thursday sort of moment where I don't know, maybe on a back on a noldy speed game. Maybe it might be. I'm just, I'm just might be going over my head. But again, it is a very well Fast and Furious film. It definitely has its highs and lows. Uh, there was one point in the film I was really like I wasn't happy, but they made it up towards coming up to the end. And so I think with that reason alone. I think I would give this film a good solid 9 out of 10, definitely. Um, from the moment, from the uh, what happened during the middle of the film, it really went down and then 
and back up. So I'm okay with that. Um, I could have made it, you know, different here and there. But I think with that, I'm going to wrap up this review. I apologise it's a bit short and not much. Well, because I don't really want to spoil it for you. Uh, let me know in the comments below, actually, if you want to like a spoiler review. If I give them a bit more depth, you know, where I could talk out more to you guys. So, once again, thank you ever so much for watching. If you have reached to this point, I really appreciate it. You know, I know I can ramble on, but thank you ever so much. Give give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Stay tuned for more content like this, reviews on movies, games, all that other good stuff. Comment down below when it comes to you seeing the film, what were your best bits. And once again, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And also, not forgetting, follow me on other social media, Twitter and Instagram. That's our talk so W. I post more here rather than on there, rather than here. So once and final time, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have all a very good day. I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.